Hi there, my name is Mike. And if you're a Business Central admin, this video is just for you. I'm gonna show you how easily you can configure Copilot in Business Central. Copilot is the AI powered assistant that helps people improve productivity, boost creativity, and eliminate those tedious tasks. So whether you're using Copilot to reconcile your bank statements or get to data insights faster, or maybe get answers to get unblocked quickly and do things in Business Central, there's a Copilot for everyone in your organization. If you want to see Copilot in action, check out the links I put below this video that will give you these really nice bite-sized videos that you can watch about what it can do in all of its different features. So best of all, Copilot is currently included with your Business Central Online licenses at no additional cost. So what are you waiting for? Let's dive in and get things set up. So here's the first bit of good news. Copilot is just ready to use out of the box. No complex setup required, no lengthy uh, model training required. It simply works as soon as you deploy your Business Central environment. Let me show you on my newly created environment what that looks like. So here I have a US environment, I'm on the items list, and Copilot already lights up and uh, suggests you know, its assistance to help me out with this task where I can analyze this list. So the key point here is as soon as you deploy a new sandbox, a new production environment, Copilot is ready to use. If you sign up for a free trial of Business Central as well, Copilot is ready to use. If you're a customer upgrading from, let's say, uh, update 24.5 to update 25, uh, then Copilot again is ready to use unless you've switched things off yourself. I'll talk about that in a moment. So the key thing here is it's ready to use out of the box. No complex setup is required. Now we know that admins especially love fine-grained control over everything in Business Central. So for that, there's the Copilot and AI capabilities page. Let's do a quick search for Copilot and Business Central. The page will appear right here. And as an admin, I get transparency and control over Copilot from this one place. Now notice how all the features, all the capabilities of Copilot are listed here. Uh, we have some generally available features, but also some features in preview as well. And these are clearly labeled as production-ready previews. And what that means is it's actually safe to use these in production with users across your organization as well. You'll also notice that uh, there's a publisher listed here too. So some of these are published by Microsoft. Uh, but there's also a third-party publisher as well, Fabricam. So what is this particular feature? Well, this came from one of the add-in apps that I've installed or from an extension that I've installed. But essentially, um, one of those apps that I installed extends Copilot and Business Central with all new capabilities, and they show up right here as well in the same list. Now notice also how all of these are active. In fact, every time we add a new feature, a new capability, that is active by default on your environment. But if you're just not ready to work with that feature yet, uh, you can always deactivate it. So let's take this one here as an example. I'll hit deactivate. I'll give a reason why we're not ready. Well, maybe this one is just not relevant to our business. And from this point forward, uh, it is instantly inactive and users can't access that at all. Now, remember that these settings are per environment, which means that when you make a change here, it affects all users in all companies within that environment. So there you have it. The Copilot and AI capabilities is the single page where you get visibility into all those capabilities, no matter where they came from or how they're installed. And you also get to control what's active and deactivated as well. Now, our customers often ask us, is Copilot available in my country? Is it available in my favorite language? Let's demystify some of that. So first of all, generally speaking, every Copilot feature is available in all Business Central languages. However, only a subset of those, only some of those languages have been rigorously verified and tested by Microsoft. Those we call the supported languages. So keep in mind that uh, we encourage our users to use Copilot capabilities in those supported languages, uh, but you can still use them in any other Business Central language. Just bear in mind that when you do that with an unsupported language, um, it may not perform as expected, and quality may vary depending on the context in which you use it as well. Now, each feature defines its own set of supported languages, and that's an important point. The other thing is country, so country or geographical uh, availability of these features. Uh, generally speaking, um, 
every co-pilot capability is available in all countries, in all geographies. Now, there are a few exceptions to that rule, and I would just want to illustrate that directly in Business Central. So here I'm on my US environment, uh, as you can see up here from the company badge. And you can see I've got a couple of features that are available in this, uh, in this environment, and chat is one of those features. But if I switch now to my German environment deployed in Germany, you can see how chat is actually absent here. So there will be some features uh, that are just not available for certain environment country localizations. Simply put, if it's not available, it won't appear in this list. So if you're looking for the full list of which languages and which geos are supported for every single Copilot feature in Business Central, I put a link below this video, which will take you right there, give you all of that information. All your questions will be answered. Now we know that admins always want to know how and where business data is used. Now, keep in mind that Copilot uses AI, and more specifically, it's powered by the Azure OpenAI service, uh, which is part of the Azure cloud and is designed for enterprise use with the security, privacy, compliance that you expect from Azure. Now, that Azure OpenAI service isn't available in all regions for Business Central. Um, so for that, I want to illustrate the difference uh, from region to region back in Business Central here. So here I am back in my German environment, which is of course deployed to my Germany Azure data center. And notice here how I have a switch which allows data movement. And that's because there isn't an Azure OpenAI service in that same region. Uh, so for Copilot to operate, to function, uh, it needs to actually contact Azure OpenAI service, which resides in a different region. In this case, it's in either Sweden or in Switzerland. But as an administrator, I have the power to decide if that is something I'm comfortable with, so I can choose to turn it off uh, or turn it on. Um, and if you want to know exactly which region it's going to connect with, I've also dropped a link down below this video where you can see the entire mapping of Azure uh, regions in terms of where your environment is deployed along with where Azure OpenAI service is actually located and where it connects to. Now, uh, when data flows across geographies, as it says here, data moves uh, across out of, out of your region, um, it's only a small amount of data and it's the prompt and the response that you're using while you're interacting with Copilot. So this doesn't mean that the entire database is moving out of region. It's really just a minimal amount of data that is used during the those interactions with Copilot. Now, let's contrast this with what the same screen looks like on my US-based environment. So here you can see that there actually is no switch uh, to allow data movement, and that's simply because in some regions there is the Azure OpenAI service uh, available to work with Business Central. So here are US customers, as well as our customers in a couple of other regions like India, Australia, as well as uh, United Kingdom, um, don't need to actually opt into anything. Data remains within that region. And I've summarized that for you here. Again, use the link to see the entire table of mappings between Azure regions. That will make it a lot more clear for your specific case. Now, of course, part of data governance is security, and we know you care about security. So when you use Copilot, when a user puts Copilot to work, um, Copilot runs under the user's same context, which means all the data governance controls for security, for privacy, and so on, they apply to Copilot as well. Uh, now, if you want to restrict which Copilot features your users can actually access, we've documented the uh, list of permissions, the specific permissions you can apply or deny as well for your users to control that um, down to every single feature. It's not every feature that has that permission, but here you can see uh, a couple of tips on how to do that. Now, when you bet on the Microsoft Cloud, uh, our promise to you is that your data is your data, your customer data. And what that means is that we don't use the data from Copilot to train the AI models to the benefits of others, and we don't go and look at your prompts either, not unless you give us your explicit consent. Uh, so we want to make sure that you feel safe and understand that this is a compliant system based on Azure, uh, where we keep your data as safe and compliant as possible. All right, well, I hope you're as excited as we are about Copilot and are ready to put that to work in your organization. If you like this video, just like and subscribe to our channel. You get a whole load more of these kind of videos. And thank you so much for watching.